I'm Sophie Dorn and I'm a member of Orchard Leisure Centre in Armagh. So just before my 16th birthday I started to feel unwell, um, very tired, very pale. Um, my hair was actually starting to come out as well. well my mum booked an appointment with the GP and went, got bloods taken. Bloods came back that I had anemia and vitamin B12 deficiency. Um, and at the time I was just so relieved to get a diagnosis of something to know why I was feeling like this. This had been going on for maybe three, four months. Started to feel better, got vitamin B12 injections, um, but my bloods were still coming up abnormal. And luckily my GP was brilliant and was pushing, you know, something's still not right here. So I went to Kirkgalvin Hospital and doctor felt my lymph nodes, nothing wrong. Um, I got a bone marrow biopsy and luckily I took a temperature whenever I was getting this done, so straight to A&E. And thank God I took this temperature because it meant that everything was fast tracked. So spent the night in Kirkgalvin Hospital and got a CT scan and the CT scan came up that my liver and my spleen were both enlarged, which is like the biggest indicator. The consultant, Dr. Boyd, had came in and had introduced herself with the teenage cancer nurse. And I sort of panicked, like, oh my God, like, what's happening here? She'd said, you know, that you have cancer. Um, so as much as the news was a shock, it was relief as well. Initially a month of intense chemotherapy, inpatient, like, not allowed to say goodbye to my friends, even my dog. Um, this was the 9th of December, so just before Christmas. Your body's put through so much with chemotherapy. Your hair, no energy, tired, sick. Um, but thankfully, I've, I suppose, come out the better end of everything. Um, I was very lucky in my diagnosis. Um, I had acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which is, I suppose, one of the more treatable cancers. By the time that I'd got my diagnosis, because I'd been diagnosed with anemia and the B12, the GP described it as like a red herring. So I actually had cancer for a lot longer than I thought I had because these B12 was actually hiding my cancer. So at that stage, the cancer cells had actually spread to my brain and spinal cord. Um, so it just meant a wee bit of a longer chemo. I was diagnosed just before I was 16 and I finished treatment on my, just after my 18th birthday. Initially, it was like a long period of inpatient. Um, so that was chemotherapy and steroids and then whenever I was discharged um, it was up two, three times a week to the hospital for your drips and then after that period it was at home so the children's nursing team come out to give your chemo and then my mum actually trained how to flush this, it has to be cleaned every three days and um, so I was able to get my chemo at home by my mum which is just a relief of not having to travel to Belfast all the time. Initially when I was diagnosed, I was in the middle of my GCSEs, so that was obviously like a big, like what do I do? There was like the fear of having to like repeat the year, or, um, so I was very lucky I did my GCSEs at my kitchen table at home. I knew for A-level I wanted to do health and social care. I did my A-levels in school, thankfully, um, and I actually got um, two A stars and an A. I knew from having a social worker, whenever you're diagnosed, you're allocated a social worker. And I just knew like I would love to do that. So I suppose my social worker inspired me to want to do social work. And I qualified in August 2022. Um, and I am a children's social worker now. I think initially, whenever I finished chemo, my body was so weak and wanted to get into fitness. So joined the leisure centre in Armagh and went to the gym, had no idea what I was doing. So joined a couple of classes. Um, I went to Cahill's boot camp and I went to spin. And from that I was just hooked. I got into running as well. I love running. You know, the runner's high after is just amazing. In March, whenever I was three years cancer free, I did 100k um, to celebrate being three years cancer free for the Children's Cancer Unit and raised £350. I think what I really like about the Leisure Centre in Armagh is that, you know, you come to your classes and there's so much support. I haven't had cancer and, like, being somebody with no motivation and very little exercise activity, I would definitely say joining the gym, going to the classes, it's the best thing you can do. Not even just for your fitness, but for your mental health as well. I think one thing to note from today is that your health is your wealth. Do you know, life is so precious. Don't take anything for granted.